Hey guys, in this one, I wanna show you how to build a personal tasks page in Notion. You'll learn about checklists, content calendars, some simple ways and some more complex ways to create tasks pages in Notion. Also be sure to check out the links in the description for way more information and tutorials on using Notion. So as we get the Notion app started up, I'm gonna create an entirely new page that we can call My Tasks. If you're new to Notion, you might get this help page on startup, but we're gonna to come to the hamburger menu on the left-hand side, and we're gonna start by adding a page. So we click on this one. Later on in the tutorial, we're gonna go through choosing a template. So you can see that option down here. But for right now, we're just gonna create a blank page. So we're gonna type on the keyboard, my tasks. We're gonna come down to the main body of this page and we're going to add some headings. The way we do that is pressing the plus button right here and then we're going to add a heading. You can see heading one, two and three. So I'm gonna just type on heading one and then I'm gonna label this urgent. This is going to be urgent tasks that we need to perform but I'm just gonna press return and move down the page. Then I'm gonna add another heading so press the plus button once more add heading one to make it the same as the other heading. And then this is just going to be a to-do list for me that isn't entirely urgent. Next on my tasks, I'm gonna add a third section. So return down, press the plus button and add another heading. And this is just going to be my work tasks. Right now the page has three headings and then the big heading at the top. And you'll see I just scrolled all the way up to the very top and some options came up and I wanna add an icon to this page so it stands out. So I'm gonna hit the icon right here. You can press this emoji and change it to anything that you want. You can scroll through and choose one or you can come up to the filter option and actually type something in and then it's gonna search for the emojis for you. So I'm happy with this notebook for now. Another way that we can make sure that all of the options are split up is using dividers. So I'm gonna click right here under urgent, just come down a little bit, press the plus button, then I'm gonna scroll down and you'll see this option here called divider and it allows you to visually divide blocks. That's exactly what we want, so I'm gonna click that. You can now see it on the screen and I'm gonna come down here as well and do exactly the same thing. Press plus, go down to divider, import that. And then you have two dividers here that split everything up. You can then add another one down here as well to make it even, but you can also move the dividers around if you minimize the keyboard and then press and hold on one of the dividers, it will be highlighted and you can move it around to wherever that may go. I'm happy with it here though, and I'm just going to click down here, press the plus button once more and add the third divider to make it even. So now we have three headings and the dividers between them. A really simple way of creating a task page now is just by clicking under each of the headings, going to plus, and then just putting a to-do list in here. Maybe I need a couple of tasks like get milk and also email John like this. Then I can come down and add some more to-do lists, sign up for the gym. You get the idea now. And then if I just minimize the keyboard, you can see this is a very simple My Tasks page. What we can also do to each of these is set up reminders, or if you're working collaboratively with someone else, you can add them or comment. So if I click on Get Milk, you can now see the at option in the options menu. So I'm just gonna press this and then a couple of options come up for me. The first one is to set a reminder. For example, remind tomorrow at 9 a.m. I could click on that. And then that will now send me a reminder within the app. So if you have in-app notifications on, that will send you a reminder. You can also click this right here and it's gonna come up with the calendar for you. So you can change this to any day that you want. You can just click on the day that you wanna be reminded. You can have reminders on the day of the event, before the event, just like you would set up a normal reminder on your phone. And then you can change the time right at the top here. You can just scroll. Then we can press done out of there and that reminder is set for us. Something else you can do if I click on email John is create another at. You can then insert another page that you have in your Notion. For example, I have two pages. One of them is my wiki. One of them is that getting started on mobile page that you saw when we opened the app. Anything that you want to link that you have, you can put in here, make it super useful for yourself. This is a very simple My Task page though, but let's get on to using a task page template. It's much more in depth. 
For this one then, I'm gonna go back to the hamburger menu and I'm gonna add a completely new page. Click on add page. This time though, I wanna come and choose a template. If we click on choose a template, there are a lot of different templates you can choose from. Even the tasks pages have different templates. Under design, there's a design tasks. If you keep scrolling down all the way to the bottom, there's actually a support task list as well. And if you scroll up a little bit under personal, there's a task list, which is a personal task list. So we're gonna click on this one and it's going to import this template for us. It also gives you a preview of what the list might look like. You have almost sticky boards on there. You have to do and doing and done, you can see, and you can even add images as well. It's actually really simple though. We wanna use it, so I'm gonna click on use. And now it's going to import this template onto this brand new page. What we can now do is personalize the name of the page to make it a little bit more personal to us. So my tasks and then we can change the icon as well by clicking on it this strong arm emoji seems appropriate so i use that one you can also change this description as well you don't need this this is just for the template so you can definitely get rid of this my daily tasks is good to put there just for the tutorial as we minimize the keyboard you can see there are a few groups so to do doing and also done. You can very easily change the name of these just by clicking on them, you can change it to whatever you want. I'm happy with these groups though. I think it's a good way to organize. So I'm gonna click on a new task in the to-do section. It will take you to a brand new task page. It is untitled for now, but you can create a task. So I'm going to create a task about buying a smartphone. So this is a task that I need to complete. In this template, it automatically creates a date created for you. And there is what's called a property. You can see status right here, and our status is to do. But if you click on here, you can add more options to this. So remember we have the to do, doing and done. You can add these. So for example, if I change it to doing, you can do that or change it back to to do. So you can easily change the group that this task is in just by clicking that. What we can do also though is add more properties and properties are a way to really group your tasks so that you can find them easily. We can then add a property like this and we want to go to property type and we want to put a select on here. So press select, we can then change this. So I can come to this property right now and rename this and I'm gonna name this tags. So I'm gonna give all of my tasks tags so that I can group them really easily. I'm gonna press done right here and then done again to go back to the tasks page. And to be honest, this is very similar to status. So in status, we have to do, doing and done. Well, tags, I'm gonna separate this by areas in my life. So I'm gonna create a tag right here and I'm gonna search for an option and just type shopping like this and I'm gonna create a new one. So I'm gonna press create like there. Now, what I've done is created a shopping tag that I can use with this task, but also other tasks as well. You can keep on adding property. So let's do it once more. Click add a property. Then we're gonna change the property type to select right here. And then we're going to rename the property just like we did before, so rename. And this I am going to change to priority. So I'm going to have a few different priorities, very urgent and non-urgent. So I'm gonna press done on the keyboard, then press done to come back to the tasks page. Press on the empty right here. I can search for options that I have. So maybe if I start typing in shopping, you'll see it come up, but I want to type urgent. So let's say I really urgently need to buy a smartphone, press on create right there. You can see I now just have different tags and different priorities. And I created all of those by going into add a property and then clicking on status and changing the names. Do you want to add a comment to this tasks? Very urgent need a smartphone like this. You don't have to do this, but just like we did when we created the very simple tasks page, you can press at right here and you can add pages and add dates and reminders as well. I don't need to do that, so I'm not gonna press the app button, but I press done right here and we've set up this task and down on this tasks page, you can add new pages or other templates here as well. So I'm gonna have a few to-do tasks. We can tap here to continue, then we can press the plus button and let's have a to-do list. So I can say check Amazon and also check Best Buy so that I can get the best price. 
I can also put in an image right here to make it really stand out. So I can go to the image section right here. Then you can take a photo with your phone or you can go to your photo library, which I'm gonna do. We can then just import this image of a phone to make it really stand out. So we have a couple of check boxes right here and also this picture of the phone that we might be looking at. Once you're done with that page and you think everything is done, you don't have to save it, it's just automatically saved for you. So we can press this button to go back to the main My Tasks page. We have created that task and it is using the image as well that we have in there. You don't have to use images, but it's nice to just make them stand out if you do want to upload them on there. What we can then do is group all of our tasks by the properties that we created. Well, we can go to the three dot menu right here and then go to group by like this. And then remember, we created the priority and the tags. So right now it's sorted by status, but we can sort by priority. So let's do that. Now you can see we've created that urgent priority list and it's right here so that you can change this around to whatever you want. Maybe you need to see your urgent tasks or maybe you just need to have it by the to-do list like we had before. So go back to the three dot menu, go down to group by like this and then just change it back to status and we have the to-do doing and done once more. What's really great as well is that you can actually add different views and filter them as well. So we can go to add view right here. So click on this. Then there are a few different types of view that you can actually look at. Let's go to calendar. So we're gonna import the calendar view. So we're gonna press create on this one. And then what this basically does is shows you your calendar and then all of your tasks on there. Instead of seeing them in that sort of whiteboard or sticky board scenario, you can just see what days you have a task and what you need to do. So you can click on the day and that was obviously take the dog for a walk that was imported. But we have one on the 21st as well, which is buy a smartphone. So that's really great to see everything put out on a calendar so you know what is urgent and what is coming up. To then go back to the first view that we had, you can see that option in the top left hand corner. So you can press that arrow. We're going to go back to the board view, but you can add or delete. As you can see, add a view here or you can press the three dots and then there's some options here. You can go down to delete if you don't want that anymore. Let's just remove that. Now we are back to that original tasks design that we had at the start. If you want to create this type of tasks page completely from scratch, that's actually doable as well. Let's come back to the hamburger menu, press on add a page like this. Now we have a completely blank page. Name your page, my tasks, just like we did before or whatever you like. Then we can come down to the body of the page, press the plus button and there's some options in here. We wanna scroll down to importing this board inline. It says create a Kanban board inline in this page. We can import this. This is essentially that template. So let's get rid of the keyboard and you have the same sort of template, but there are no areas for us already. So we have to create all of them so we can create to do, urgent, doing, done, just like that. Also something you might want to do with your tasks is see all of the tasks that you'd actually completed. So let's come to the hamburger menu, come back to the My Tasks page template that we were working on and scroll all the way to the right hand side. We can then add a group and call this completed. This is gonna be all our completed tasks and we have them right here. Anything now that is labeled as completed should be coming up in here. So let's go to taking fig on a walk, press on that, look at the status, come here, press on completed, then go back to the original My Tasks page and you'll see now it is incompleted and that is all of your completed tasks right here. You don't have to see this though. You can press these three buttons and come up to hide. That will now be completely hidden. So you can't see all of those tasks, but you can see that there is a completed page and all of your completed tasks will be in there. If you want to do that in the simple version as well, then we'll just come back to that very simple My Tasks page. You can come all the way down to the bottom, add another heading, press completed. Then you can just simply return down, add a page in here that we can link to. This can be your completed page. Once that is set up, we can come back to the My Tasks page and any tasks that you have completed. So let's say I did email John, I can then press and hold this task to move it around. We can then drag it all the way down into the completed page like this 
it's therefore no longer on our page, but it is in our completed tasks. And we can see all of those together. That is how to create a simple My Tasks page and also a more complex My Tasks page on Notion. Check out the links in the description for more Notion tutorials and videos. That's it for this one though. Thank you for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you in the next one.